The Ontario Brain Institute, or OBI, is all about doing science differently in order to diagnose, treat, and improve the lives of people living with brain disorders. One of those areas is neurodevelopmental disorders, which affects hundreds of thousands of people in Ontario alone. These are disorders that begin in childhood and continue through adulthood and affect an individual's ability to think, learn, interact socially, and even play. We bring together researchers, doctors who treat people with neurodevelopmental disorders, industry partners who are working on new products to improve their lives, and also patient advocacy groups who can represent the needs of people and their families who live with neurodevelopmental disorders. So neurodevelopmental disorders are disorders that affect the way the brain develops. They're not limited to the brain, so some of the neurodevelopmental disorders will have um, other systems affected. So they can give you deficits, for example, in social interactions and repetitive behaviors like you would see in uh, kids who have autism spectrum disorders. Or it can give you hyperactivity and inattention like you would see in ADHD. The last 10 years especially, it's come out that the idea of the diagnostic categories might not be correct anymore. Some of the same genes will affect kids in one way and have a symptoms that look more like ADHD, whereas the same gene in a different family and different kid might make it look more like autism. So the boundaries are very fuzzy, a sort of comorbidity. Some children have both OCD and Tourette's and ADHD, for example. We can't understand what it is that someone goes through. Um, you know, when I talk to people with ADHD, um, you know, what they go through, say for an example, uh, in a noisy room, you know, what that's like for them. Um, so for them to be able to express that and for researchers to understand what day-to-day -day life is for people is extremely important. Everybody has potential. Um, and when we understand the nature of how their brains work, what is common to people, um, what those differences are and how it needn't affect their opportunities in life. So one of the problems we have is that none of us on our own have enough of a sample size, have enough kids in our studies to be able to make definitive conclusions. The only way we can get to making definitive conclusions is by sharing data across multiple sites and multiple centers. So we look at neuroimaging, we use MRI to scan mouse models of autism. I think when you study all of them, you get to break down the different components. Let's say you find a gene associated with one of them, and you can see how is that applicable to another disorder. So it's very important to be able to communicate with the people who work with the patients. So PON brings a, a variety of groups together. Um, we have the uh, patients who are participating and we really are very actively engaging patients on all levels. Not only are patients and families actually um, uh, participants in the research, but we invite their thoughts on what the research, how the research should be conducted. We have a patient advisory group the way that we move from knowledge to action is by being in contact with parents all the time um, and also with people who are service providers or educators, researchers, and government policy makers. Um, and we take the information that families share with us and we try to put it into as much plain language as possible and to make that information accessible. SQUAG is an online platform for kids um, to self-reflect and explore their interests through art and video and journaling. Uh, I built Squag uh, because of my nephew. I was, um, I was his primary therapist um, since the time he was diagnosed in 2001. And I saw that he communicated in a way that was slightly different and that most environments were not set up for that. By being transparent and exchanging knowledge rather than just one-way communication, um, then we'll have a cleaner path toward commercialization because it'll be more integrated. If you're interested in learning more about the OBI or any of our programs, please get in touch with us. If you have any particular questions about a brain disorder, we can connect you with one of our partner organizations because the OBI is doing science differently.